Jamie Maggio here at Lakers Media Day, where the theme has been excitement. The expectations are always high for this franchise, even more so now with number two pick Lonzo Ball. The optimism starts in the front office and trickles down to the players, all of whom are excited to get back to work. The strength of the NBA today is at that point guard position. I mean, we have some incredible point guards. And so every night he's going to face a great, great all-star, great maybe even Hall of Fame type point guard. And, uh, but it'll never rattle him and he won't defer or get away from his game. He'll just stay playing his game and that's what I like about him too. Obviously the addition of, of the rookie class that we have, Zoe, uh, Zoe gives us a point guard that I feel you know, makes everyone on this team better when he's on the floor and it allows us to play a game that uh, the way that you know, I think is basketball is meant to be played and that's with the ball flying all around the court. I think uh, the team will be a vast improvement from last year no question. Um, the core that they have had here has grown tremendously over the summer and, and also grown together um, and then again with the infusion of young guys we've had the, the mix of uh, vets that have come in it's a very interesting eclectic group but you know I think on court um, it'll be a fantastic chemistry they'll work will work so well together and um, I, I think we're going to surprise a lot of people this year. I think this this summer helped me out a little bit just to get back and reflect on uh, what I did well this se last season and what I what I could have did better. So um, I think for me, I'm, I'm I'm just excited. I have a lot of confidence. Uh, I'm ready to go. What excites you most about this season and, and the, some of the new pieces that are here? I think just the way we're going to be playing. Uh, the way Lonzo gets the ball out and pushes it ahead. Uh, the steal in the draft we had with Kyle Kuzma, he can shoot the ball extremely well. He can get to the basket. He can uh, guard different guys on the perimeter. Um, Larry Nance, Julius Randle, they've gotten extremely better during the summer. Uh, we added Brooke Lopez. There's a lot of guys that I can go through. But uh, like I said, all these guys are hardworking, and they come in every day and be consistent. This fan base has high expectations, you know this. So what do you think um, the likelihood is to make the playoffs this year? Is this team, do they have that potential? I think we do. You know, That's our goal for this year, make the playoffs and go from there. So we're going to see what happens. What has uh, Magic and, and Rob Palinka said to you about you know expectations for this year and how to approach it, especially when there's such a heavy spotlight on you being a number two pick and, and given the, the college career that you had? Yeah, they say I can always come to them, you know, talk to them whenever I need to. Um, the good thing is I'm from here, so I know what L.A. is all about. But um, definitely said, you know, there's outside distractions and different pressures and stuff. But just to stay focused and um, come and talk to them pretty much whenever I need something. Until we get to the point that I feel like we've created our identity and we're consistently playing the style we want to play, uh, that then wins and losses come come later to me. Uh, when we get there, then, yeah, I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on win, wins and losses, but we're looking at this from the big picture of a coaching staff of trying to win championships again. This team can't get judged on whether we make the playoff or not. All I want to see us have more wins and also get better, and uh, I think we will achieve those two goals. And if we make the playoff, that's great. If we don't, I'm okay with that as well. Yeah. After missing the playoffs the last four seasons, the Lakers have nowhere to go but up. Whether or not they make the playoffs this season doesn't necessarily indicate success or improvement. As Luke Walton said, the culture is changing. It takes time. But this is a franchise undoubtedly headed in the right direction.